Hey all here, OS Reviews. You're watching our hands-on review of a mini robot vacuum cleaner. It looks very similar to something like an iRobot on paper, but it's a lot smaller. This is actually on a regular desk, and it just measures 8 inches by 8 inches, and it's about 3 inches thick. So it's a fraction of the size of a regular iRobot type. It's going to work okay, I think, for smaller rooms, and the biggest incentive, aside from being really portable and cute looking, is the price. It sells for only $16. It also charges you using a micro USB cable that you can connect directly onto your computer and claims to have a little bit of obstacle avoidance but we have to test it out to see how well it functions. Auto turn, so if it hits something or it detects an edge it should hopefully turn around and that's uh, pretty much it, very simple packaging. And we have the aforementioned micro USB cable for charging the unit in addition to a quick user manual that uh, just tells you how to turn it on, how to dump out the dust or lint that you collect on the back as well as the various charging ports on these sides. Now when you first take it out of the packaging here, there is actually a tab that you have to pull out which will activate the battery, after which point you can turn it on by using the manual switch on the side by pressing it down, and on the edge here is also the micro USB port for charging. As far as the design is concerned, it's pretty clear that it's trying to imitate a more expensive and larger iRobot, even with these printed on keys which are supposed to be for sensors and buttons but again it's just a paint job on here reminds me a little bit of a sphero the bb8 that we saw a few months back that also has a painted on kind of design going on and we have the door for the dust compartment which there's a latch that you can press down and that's it this is the size of the entire compartment so it's really small here it is next to, let's say, a cell phone, so you can tell that this is not going to hold that much dust or lint. So it really is kind of a novelty product, but there is a HEPA filter built on in for allergies, and you can just open up this very small compartment to then dump out whatever it picks up inside here. In case you're curious, here's the size of a standard robot vacuum cleaner by AlphaWise, and here is the mini robot that you can see fits just right on top. And then this knob here actually needs to be removed when you want to use it because it hides two wheels and a motor that can spin around because these two wheels are just for assist. They don't actually have any motors attached to them. So this is just moving forward. It kind of just follows along. So make sure that you take this cap off because and while it's on, you can see that the front light here is an LED as opposed to a sensor, uh, for example. So it's not really infrared, but when you turn it on, it flashes these RGB multicolored lights, which is kind of fun, but it uh, doesn't add too much functionality. Pausing there, this is definitely more of a novelty product, but the obstacle avoidance I think should be replaced with edge detection because it still bumps into things like walls and surfaces instead it just pivots and goes into the opposite direction whenever it hits some things. However, it has good edge detection because if there is a surface that suddenly drops down, it doesn't actually drop as we saw in that test. Instead, it tends to go into a different direction and swivel away. The only problem is because the wheels are only on the front, now if it goes too far off the edge, so for example the wheels are now in this particular position, the motor has no way of touching the ground so it can't actually reverse itself and go into a different direction since the two wheels on the back here don't actually do anything. So if it's already in this spot, as you saw, it can sometimes get stuck. It doesn't fall off because it seems to have pretty good, again, edge detection. However, it's no longer able to go into a backwards movement. So removing the compartment here, you can see it's already pretty much full just after a few pieces of the um, kind of tissue paper that we had in our test there. So definitely has a pretty small capacity and you would uh, hopefully be using it to pick up not necessarily uh, objects that you can really see such as again tissues or maybe hair but rather you would use it for just general dust. Speaking of the battery life it will last for about 40 minutes on a single charge so you need to charge it after about an hour of usage which is not bad. And some final remarks. Now, if you have a really deep carpet, it's not going to work well because the wheels themselves are too shallow and small in terms of the diameter. 
So unless you have a really shallow carpet or a rug, it might work. But as you can see here on a finer carpet surface, it's trying to move, but it's really struggling here. So there we have it, a $15 robot vacuum cleaner. It's really cute. I think of it more as a toy, a proof of concept, maybe a conversation starter than something that is super effective. With that being said, it's still kind of fun to see it just roll around on the floor, especially on a flat hardwood surface on a flat room without any stairs. It can actually run by itself for, again, the full 40 minutes without any problems. And as far as picking up finer dust and lint, it actually does a decent job. And in the ideal situation, the robot is obviously doing all the work for you and also saving you the time. So you can check out more details in the links down below if interested. But for now, that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. This has been a tiny robot vacuum cleaner for the room.